Solar energy is one of our favorite places to be over the next several decades. Solar is, as you know, very green and is growing very rapidly across the globe. The main reason for that is solar is very cost effective while also not producing any greenhouse emissions. Uh, when you take a look here at the cost of generating electricity across the globe, we'll start here in the United States. Uh, the light blue is coal, the dark blue is gas, natural gas, uh, the green is nuclear, the, this is wind onshore, yellow is wind offshore, and then solar is the orange line here. You can see that solar generation costs have actually dropped to be very cost effective both with natural gas and onshore wind. Wind has its additional problem of really takes up a lot of land space and people really do not want wind farms in their area. And as you can see, solar is very cost effective even with that uh, issue. So solar is going to be where most people are putting their green energy efforts. The other area uh, across the globe, China, Europe, and Japan, you can see solar is actually the cheapest way to generate electricity in China and in Europe is cost effective versus the other solutions. And in Japan where there's not quite as good a, a weather situation and land uh, is very scarce, uh, you do have a issue where solar is not cost effective. But in the three big markets, US, China, Europe, solar is cost effective with the other solutions and it is very green. It is going to be one of the you know, main uh, drivers for producing green energy on a go-forward basis and we think that um, the advantages of solar not only being cost-effective but also being distributable. So what I mean by that is you can have solar panels at your house, um, you can have them at your office, you can have them at retail stores, at warehouses, all these places where you know the sun shines you can have distributed solar where you can generate it right there on site and you don't have to have transmission lines uh, to do that. It takes place there, no transmission, no loss of electricity in the transmission lines. It's very effective. The other area that that's going to really help is rural and uh, developing world where there's no transmission lines today. They can put in solar panels and get electricity and uh, start using, utilizing the you know, modern world of electricity today. The other advantage solar has is solar uh, you know, is where the sun shines and most of the world's population uh, lives pretty close to the equator or in enough of a temperate zone where they get plenty of sunshine where they're going to get uh, be able to generate solar you know, most of the year so it is an effective uh, solution for the vast majority of the globe. Our favorite way to play this is Canadian solar. Uh, Canadian solar is a growth stock, but also a stock that's selling at a tremendous value. Canadian solar has backed off from the 60-62 level, now down here to the 32-33 level. We think it's an attractive entry point. Canadian solar is going to grow its revenues at about 20% a year for the next couple of years. We think that is very attractive. The uh, company has the advantage of uh, being able to both develop and manufacture the solar panels themselves, but also they do a business of doing the infrastructure where they design, manage the solar farms, including the battery capabilities, which are very important uh, for solar energy to be able to be stored so it can be used by consumers later uh, when they need it. Uh, this is a very important element. So Canadian solar is broad based in the solar development area. We think it is very attractive, very undervalued. We expect this undervalued uh, situation to become more recognized by the market as Canadian solar floats its Chinese manufacturing in a separate IPO that's going to be listed in China. And the uh, company uh, should be able to get a significant amount of value where people will see that unrecognized value in the uh, Canadian solar as they can then compare the valuation that's taking place in China to the total value of Canadian solar and see that Canadian solar is extremely undervalued. In addition to that, 
they have a you know, Japanese uh, solar uh, uh, plant that they operate, that they participate and own some of. That is also floated as a separate security. Uh, that's worth about $2 a share to Canadian Solar today. Um, that's embedded and you know, not being fully recognized in the stock price. So we think Canadian Solar has a very long you know, multi-decade run uh, ahead of it for very strong growth. We do think solar is going to be one of the winning electricity generation uh, areas that is going to really be big and helping the world get greener. And we think Canadian solar is an ideal way to invest in that. We advise you to take a look at this, see if it fits into your portfolio. Once again, this is not investment advice. Please see our full disclaimer on buildingbenjamins.com. You can also see our full Canadian solar report on buildingbenjamins.com. I hope you find this information helpful. Please have a great day. Thank you.